Welcome to the Twisted Tentacle Inn. I'm your innkeeper, Vase Odin. And today I wanted to shout out freedom for a bit, celebrate freedom. It is America's Independence Day, and I want to just mention that and honor it for a minute. I also wanted to go behind the scenes uh, and show some people my video setup and how I edit videos. Uh, there have been some people who have asked me about this and, well, I just wanted to kind of give you a little behind the scenes glimpse on that. Uh, but back to freedom. Uh, some of you may know, some of you may not. I am from Panama. I was born in Panama and my family moved to the U.S. when I was six years old. We barely spoke English and we were here illegally initially which was very difficult for us. But despite that, living in this country was something that uh, we needed and we wanted because there's uh, where we came from at the time, uh, there was dictator and uh, there were a lot of changes, political changes happening in Panama. So we wanted to go to a country where there was opportunity and freedom. And sure enough, um, my family came with nothing, not even speaking the language and ended up buying a house ended up uh, having great jobs and um, their sons went to school, uh, ended up going to college and graduating. So a very, very awesome success story. And it's all because of freedom. So on this Independence Day, raise a glass to it and um, appreciate what you have because not everyone is as fortunate. And it's something that, that we really should celebrate on the 4th of July. All right, thank you for listening to that. Now on to video editing. So this is my setup. Uh, believe it or not, when I record, I do record live. So, <clears throat> well, I record live cards and then I edit the videos after. So the the <laughs> amplifier sits on a chair and then I have a tripod that holds my cell phone up if you see it on the top left corner there. And the cell phone uh, looks down onto the table and then um, I generally will hook up a, uh, either a headset microphone or my Yeti Blue to it uh, and then put it on the side where I can speak into it if I'm recording audio at the moment. A lot of times I don't record audio and I record it afterwards during editing. It increases the length of the videos but it sounds a lot better. Uh, and so what I do when I edit playthrough videos, first thing I do is I look up all the cards that were used in the video. So I'll type it into the Google search bar, look for Arkham DB, um, the digital version of the card. And this I do this for every single card. So this takes a long time as well. I go in and then I find it, save it. If it's a two sided card, I have to do it for both sides. Then I'll have to go into my file folder in my phone and sort the cards into their own folder. So it's easier to find later. I then go into kind master, Kina master, kind master, and, um, I go to the folder where I've uh, put all the cards into and then I place it into the video. Uh, once it's pasted, then I can go ahead and edit the card as I need to or edit the, the image and extend it for the length that I need. So in, in Kind Master, you go into the video and you set it up just like a video editor on, on a computer or PC. The video you're watching now is the one you see on your screen as I was editing it. I did delete that section afterwards, but just so you can see if I paste an image, uh, let's say a, vi a picture that I want to put for the story of this uh, or, or for any other reason, I have to put in the image, adjust the, you know, colors of it, uh, put in some filters if I want to and adjust the length of it based on how long I'm going to talk. And as I voice over, I have to either extend or reduce the length of time the picture is on the screen. I then can go ahead and add images. And this is how I put the cards on the side. So I'll put an image of the card, shrink it, move it to the corner. Then I'll add the next card, uh, put it on the on the screen, adjust the size, and move it to the corner. As you can tell, this is very, very time consuming. My playthrough videos take a long time, and that's why I take a, <laughs> I take a while before I put them out. I usually don't do weekly ones, although right now I'm kind of in a mood to do weekly ones. But generally, it's very, very time consuming to edit these. Um, so this is for each card that goes into my hand and then I have to add the animations as you can see there the in animation and the out animation are separate so you have to make sure you put those in and then when you put a digital image a bigger one let's say for the scenario reference I'll put it there and then I also have to edit the 
in and out animations and sometimes I may adjust the colors depending on the image quality and then I play through the video and see where I need to remove them uh, the exact location when I play a card I'll have to exit it out or cut it um, I also if I need to insert something in the middle of a video I would have to cut that piece of video like you see there and then cut each card individually at that point in the video one by one as you can see there and once they're cut at that place I can insert another image so then the video will play I'll test it out make sure that the cards exit at the time when they need to be uh, coming out the new image shows up and when it's time to go back to the play area we'll go back and bring them back in and we have to do this every time and then we add transitions for the changes so if I want to add a classic like just fade through I'll go ahead and just put it on both ends put a different one there so then I'll test it again and make sure that it plays fine so it's a lot of input testing input testing as you you know do it for a while you get a little bit faster at it but it's still very time consuming and then of course there's the voiceover the, the voiceover takes a long time because sometimes I'll mess up I'll forget what I was going to be doing or what I was thinking at that moment so then I have to go back delete what I just said and redo it time it right, move the sound, all that stuff. Uh, and then I have to put background music, so I'll go ahead and go in. Background music um, is usually the last thing that I'll add to a video, but I have to be careful with that. Uh, some music is um, DRM free, so I can go ahead and just lay it down and just make sure the volume is low. Sometimes I forget and it comes out really loud in the video. Um, some music, you can't have more than an uh, 11 second clip or they'll demonetize the video or even shut down the video. So it's, a, it's majorly important that I don't have any background music playing because even something that's barely audible will trigger that and then the video gets demonetized or taken down and I have to go and edit the entire thing again. So um, yeah, yeah, uh, editing videos is, is definitely one of the, the hardest parts of, of doing videos and I hope that this mini little uh, behind the scenes look at how I edit my playthrough videos was insightful for you if you're looking to maybe do your own video playthroughs this might be some helpful information if you plan on editing them on your phone as I do but if you're gonna edit on your phone I know Arkham Chronicle does all their videos on their phone as well um, but it's definitely more difficult than, a com than using a computer the only reason I do it on my phone exclusively is because it's portable and I'm always on the go and so it's easy for me to be somewhere and just throw in a quick you know card uh, image and set the animation while I'm running an errand or something so it makes it convenient in terms of that and saves me time in that sense and that does it for today's video uh, I hope this was insightful for you guys and I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and uh, celebrate independence man it's it's an awesome thing it's one of the greatest things and I, I celebrate it every day um, I love living in freedom and I hope that you do too Take care of yourselves. This is Innkeeper Vase Odin. Check in anytime. I'll talk to you then.